Blog Talk Radio. Hello. Welcome to blogtalkradio.com. You are now online with Andrea. Tonight, we have the honor of having a theoretical physicist. It certainly isn't every day that you get to chat with a theoretical physicist. Um, We could actually do a couple of programs discussing his impressive background, which includes degrees in physics from St. John's University, an MS in applied physics from Columbia University, a doctorate in mathematics from Columbia, and he's done postdoctoral research in geophysics at Princeton University. Quite impressive indeed. But what is so great is that he has taken all of his knowledge and expertise, plus he has organized a terrific scientific team to work towards a heart-inspired global effort to help to end blindness around the world. Please tell our audience why you became a theoretical physicist. Well, it, it, it's a somewhat funny story, actually, but it, and it goes back to the time I was about seven years old. Um, I didn't have plans to be a physicist. I first wanted to be an engineer. I, I actually remember the, 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 uh, the incident when I was about seven years old. I was out playing with my friends, and my, I had gone into the house, I guess, to get a glass of water or something. And my mother said, come sit down and watch this. It was, uh, uh, I believe it was John Glenn's space flight. And I, you know, I was a dumb, kid, dumb little kid, just wanted to go and play. And I said, you know, I just, I wouldn't leave me alone. So my mother and my grandmother both insisted, you know, stay and watch it. And, okay, fine. So I'm sitting down in front of the TV. All of a sudden the uh, rocket launches and it, it was completely captivating. Um, now, if you would, if you could tell us about the very moment uh, and the inspiration that led you to wanting to develop a way to end blindness and to help the world to see. Okay, I'll, I'll try. Um, I, I say I'll try because it really was, uh, again, a funny story. And um, uh, what happened was basically, uh, as a physicist, I had been reading um, one of the journals, I don't remember which, and um, there was a small article, again, I don't remember exactly what it was about per se, but it was on mentioning blindness and uh, attempts at curing it and this, that, and the other thing. And I simply said to, to myself, you know, I said, there's got to be... Um, uh, a, a different way that you you can do this uh, type of technique, etc., that would merely mimic uh, what nature has taken away through disease. So all you want to do is not have any bells and whistles. You just want to uh, 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 resubstitute. Well, that's a terrible word, isn't it? <laughs> you just want to uh, restore what nature's taken away through the disease. So uh, there there are, are simple ways to do it. So. I, I was just thinking about it one evening, and I went to bed. And next morning, I woke up, and uh, this is the funny part. Actually, I, I had uh, gone later, and I happened to say to my mother, um, "I think I can cure blindness." And after, and after the initial shock of her getting over the fact that I wasn't uh, being sacrilegious, I said, "No, no, no! I have some ideas in physics and everything." She started to accept it, and, and uh, actually started to fund the, the whole project and things like that. And um, it was it was incredible, but it was really just a, a, one of those things that sometimes hits you in the middle of the night or so, and and you think you can, uh, you know. I know that sounds like TV shows, but uh, and sometimes it does happen. You can be part of the world vision by helping the world to see that all things are within the realm of possibility. We can end blindness in our lifetime everywhere around the world. Now just imagine if everyone can see the color and the light of the brilliant sun on a new day shining so bright and the glimmering stars and glowing moon adding light to the darkened night sky just imagine how happy you would be 
to know that you are an integral part of this united family, this global worldwide initiative to help the world to see.